G'day. This is my Fisher and Parkle disc drawer 603 series. What's happening is it's not emptying properly. There's a uh, yeah, after every wash, it leaves a little bit of water in the bottom. So what I've been told is I have to replace the rotor that's inside here. So let's do that. First of all, I remove the cutlery holder. Then I'll remove the plate holder. Now best to remove it from the back like this. If you try to remove it from the front, it gets stuck where you put the powder and the liquid in. So lift it from the back, remove that, then take out the the uh, the spinny arm thing. Now there's a plate here, a silver plate and this ring holds the plate in so what you do is it turns quite easily anti-clockwise that's it there's also a, uh, a kidney sized debris collector that comes out plate lifts out yeah And here's the rotor. So I'll turn it anti clockwise, and out it comes. And that's that. Now I have a new one. So if we look at the old one, it doesn't look too bad. Like that seems to be in quite good nick at the top. On the bottom here, uh, you don't know if you can tell but there's slight wear on the edges here when I went down to the shop the guy said that you could see here there's uh, looks like metal filings so he reckons that there's some wear happening with this but since it's been in the it looks okay sort of let's put the new one in and see what happens So here's the new one. It doesn't look identical. It looks very similar to the old one. The blue part on top looks almost the same. Different color gray, or maybe this has gone off. But on the bottom, you'll see that where this fin here has got um, sort of a triangle shape to it, this one's more square. One, two, three, four, five. That one's five as well. So let's put them in and see what happens. And clockwise, I can actually feel there's a small gap, probably about two mil, three mil underneath my finger there. I can't get my finger into it, but definitely a gap. This goes on top, and if you move it around, well the actual hole here goes towards the door, and it still wants to click into to a spot right there. So again I grab the wheel, grab the ring, and turn it, it locks it into place, it's really easy to move. The debris catcher will go in, in here, it's covered in ugly water. The wash arm, that's what I'll call it, wash arm, sits on top, it doesn't actually attach, it just sits on top. The plate holder. goes and the basket that holds the cutlery goes in here I'm actually not sure which way that goes I never knew it just goes in probably goes that way actually seems to fit better that way 
and I'll load this up and I'll do a test wash and we'll see how we go. Now, I know this model is a 603 and why I know that is if I take my camera and I look down the bottom here, you can see there's a sticker that says uh, DS, it's a single draw in this case, disc draw single, 603M, and then there's a number there that says 87823, you need that number, and the best thing to do is just take a photo of it with your phone and head down to the shop to make sure you get it right. And here's the result for me with the new rotor. A little bit unfortunate as there's still water in the bottom of my dishwasher. Ah, look at this. Fixed. Not by just replacing the rotor. I don't think replacing the rotor did much at all. Let me show you what it did. It's going to be clear to see me pull this apart now. So here's the washer blade. And rotate this anti-clockwise. I take this out. This is the uh, debris catcher. Oh, there's a few things down here too. Um, hmm, it looks like someone's tooth and a big gunk. I'll take this out. And if you just rotate this any clockwise, like so, this comes out. This is the uh, new one. So what happened was I bought the new part because I read on the internet that if it's not draining properly, uh, that's what you should do. And it didn't fix it. Though the tech told me it was a little bit worn, he said that there's some metal filings on the side, he reckons. The other thing I uh, read about too was that there's in fact a channel that goes from in here through this to this hole here. So this is actually the pump. And to make sure the channel is clear, so what I did was grab some of this whipper stipper cord and you'll find the hole, there's actually a piece, you won't see it there's a little piece of plastic on the bottom and there's a hole just to the that side of it and I'll put the cord in and it should come out here now when I first tried that it really didn't want to go in, it was a bit of a hassle and eventually I actually I tried it the other way and I was able to get the cord in and then I did this for a bit I didn't notice anything at the time but now as, as you can see the cord goes in really quite easily now on the other side there's also a hole so you can't see but there's actually a hole on this side uh, underneath where you can't see and there's another one on this side and when I put the cord into that hole, which is not as easy, there we go. It's not going to do it this time, but I actually felt it go into the the hose that goes out to the uh, the sink and I got about a meter or so of this cord to the hose but I don't think I did enough to actually go all the way to the sink itself and it, there was no uh, there's no resistance there either so I think what's happened is that a bit of debris got into this channel 
and it was restricting the water flow and that the dishwasher was running the pump to empty it and it only runs it for so long the restriction meant that the pump wasn't running long enough to empty the water and therefore it didn't work so it's a fix so hopefully I'll show you how to fix a blocked channel and how to replace the rotor thank you